All right, we are back for more Phoenix Point. This is right where I left off in the previous episode. I was just checking out the new research that we unlocked, which wasn't anything very exciting. We can reverse engineer this really bad handgun. And we get the advanced bionic technology, which we'll throw in the queue, but we're in no rush for that. No rush at all. Now, these guys are going to need to return to heal. That guy's just kind of sitting there. We'll wait and heal for a bit. Then we uh, might come off and try to secure the Aspedo with the same crew. Advanced nanotechnology. Medusa anti-aircraft missile. Oh, that's the one that causes uh, burning. I do need some more food though. So we're going to come down here to buy some food with this craft that's not really doing anything. Operatives have made contact with Bakunin, a haven that only joined Synedrian recently. Converting their old council hall. <laughs> Tell them they're idiots for joining Synedrian. I mean, it's not untrue. We will just give them the building materials, though, to get some more faction and specifically haven uh, diplomacy. Sentient AIs, that's pretty cool. Increases um, our research speed. I believe the laser weapons also really good best sniper rifle we can have this is helpful because i haven't unlocked uh, my paralysis stuff yet and we also get the infiltrator class which of course is very helpful so we're definitely going to work some of these in here yeah research point increase research point output increased by 50 percent so that's actually going to be the very next thing we do after grenade launches we also want laser weapons in there, and uh, any class that you can get is always uh, helpful. But we will revisit all of this after sentient AIs. I could not be bothered uh, remixing my entire research queue right now. Get some more food. Still got a few havens here I need to explore. And that little ping means that we found something new over here. So they're going to have to go back there pretty soon. So uh, yeah, let's head on over. Okay, so this one's likely to be infested, so there's no point activating it now, but this is the next one that I want to activate. But um, probably wait until my team is back here and can work their way over if there is an infestation chance. Actually, you know what, let's just do it now. Yeah, so it is infested. Okay, we're almost healed over here. See how these guys are going. We do have two training facilities. I don't see a need to build more. I definitely could. Um, you know, some people go up to like four or five to like really pound out. And, you know, these guys haven't leveled up yet. But they've also only been here for a few moments, even though it's been a fair chunk of gameplay. It hasn't actually been that long in Geoscape time. Nope, you've got another continent to go look at. Threat level extreme, the pure. So the pure are, when you first start encountering them, incredibly difficult. 
really very difficult encounters. Um, so again, heavily armored, so I'm going to keep this gun. Everyone else is okay, and we do still have our, uh, our tanky boy. So we'll see how we go. My kitten really wants it to be playtime. I say kitten, but she's a full-grown cat now. She's just tiny. Aren't you? Yeah, staring into my soul is not going to make me come over there and play with you, I'm afraid. Yeah, I know. It does work at other times. Oh, wow. There's so many of them, too. At least I can uh, see them all. Really wish I had a grenade launcher to just lob over there. Or if this was the uh, Phoenix Point... If this was a uh, Phoenix Point uh, Scarab, long range uh, explosive. Okay, we've seen an extra dude. Okay, so we're also surrounded. Beautiful. Okay, yep, there's a lot of them. I get it. Just let me take over this sniper, please. The, adv the uh, saving grace with the pure. My turn. Is that they don't um, have the same uh, healing and uh, limb repair capacity. So you can uh, shoot out there. Okay, so it, the volume actually seemed all right. Uh, mind control immunity, right. Because I haven't actually researched and uh, none of the other factions have actually finished researching the other bionic tech, it won't appear yet. You're going to hunker down. You're going to stay right there for now. Let's go. And I don't think it's too reckless to come down here because these guys are armed with the uh, new Jericho assault rifles which don't have the best range in the world that's how he's gonna spend his turn like healing a scratch on my guy that is just not an effective use of action points ow should be able to take him out next turn though or maybe not. Yeah, they have these really annoying shields. Uh. Head gone. That's helpful. All right, one down. Yeah, so you really want to, against the pure when they first start appearing, you just need snipers. Take out their arms, like they're so heavily armoured, your assaults can't really do anything. Your heavies can, definitely, but it takes them a while to like get in range. Fortunately, they're using inaccurate weapons at long range. But I do need to... Yep, yeah, he's going to leave because I took his arm out. So he's basically out of the fight. Cybernetic people. Um, the Anyone with cybernetics in this game? Oh, yeah, beautiful. Um, they need a specific, like, sort of mechanical repair kit to heal. And I don't know if it actually restores non-functioning limbs. But they're also expensive to make and not all of the troops have them.
and uh, obviously these these heavy ones, as you've probably seen, can also um, Targeting. run through. Run through walls is uh, what I was trying to say. Okay, so that guy's dead. So we're going to bring our snipers out. This guy's dazed, so he's not very threatening at the moment. But yeah, the uh, shields are very hard to get through. And I need to make sure I put a gun back in this person's hand so that uh, they can actually take the overwatch shots. And uh, we've got, what, a poison grenade, and they are, of course, being bionic, immune to poison. And you can stay there. Okay, one less. Always helpful. But yeah, unfortunately, it's, it's hard to find cover against these guys. And there's obviously quite a lot of them here. Because uh, they just run through walls. Yeah, incredibly heavily armored, as I said. You're not going to fire back for me? I guess not. Okay. That's a bit sad. <laughs> Cleanse the infection. Right, yeah, these guys are a bit nutty. He's got a um, technician personal defense weapon, which only costs one AP to fire, but does the same damage as an assault rifle. That's why he's able to get off all those hits, if anyone is wondering. So I do need to be mindful that this armadillo is not invincible, but it is doing a decent job of just soaking up attention. That's fine, I don't mind them blowing up some of these things. But yeah, he's soaking up attention that would otherwise be going to my units, so... It's doing its job. So 
So as well as being very heavily shielded, these sh um, very heavily armored, they've also got a ton of hit points. As you can see, it has like 200. Missed your shot, of course you did. Doesn't have a single... Doesn't have the uh, over single AP Overwatch, of course he doesn't. So what I'm doing here is incredibly ineffective. I would not recommend anyone else do it. But I'm just trying to basically shoot through the shield on one of these guys. Makes him a lot more vulnerable. But as you can see, they're still very heavily armed, uh, armored. So it's not necessarily super helpful anyway. Now. You should be able to kill this guy. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. And we want this guy to be taking Overwatch shots. Sure thing. Yeah, really? You think you're going to make that shot? Like through a wall. You're just like, yep, shoot through the wall. She'll be right. One, two... Okay, so I can get here and still overwatch. That's nice. On overwatch. Let them come. Well, I mean, don't just, like, let them come. How... How, how did that... She's got this jump ability, of course. That's awesome. Hell yeah. Okay. I like it. Now, let's see what she has the best line of sight on. Okay, it's that direction where the uh, technician is. Which should be this way, yeah. Got you covered. I think you're just going to stay where you are. Probably you as well. And yep, also you. Yeah. And you as well. Cool. That's the turn. Okay, so the front's disabled. It's at like half health. So after this turn, I need to get the armadillo out of dodge. Yep, please do distract yourself with the buildings. So against another enemy... When I first started playing Phoenix Point, I always used to use enemies and civilians basically to... Okay, that guy's out of the fight already. I used to be happy to use them as like shields to get attention away from my guys. These days, I am a little more aggressive in actually trying to defend the targets because that's how you do well in these missions and you're more likely to get someone to join you. But against the pure, you really just don't have that option because they just pump out so much damage. 
Okay, so he's not returning fire because he can't see enemies from where he is. So you're going to come over here. And you're just going to hunker down there. And that, that works for me. Now, that guy is, it should be the one that just had his arm taken out. Yep. So the only thing he can do is run away and die, basically. So we're going to start focusing on this guy. At the very least, we got a bit of armor off. Okay, another arm disabled, so he's out of the fight. And um, because of the shields as well, because of the shields, you also need to be mindful about where you throw grenades because they will absorb most of the grenade impact. You can see this is doing very little damage, but I'm shredding a tiny bit of armor. Taking off a tiny bit of armor is still a lot better than doing nothing. It's still a lot better than doing absolutely nothing. So I'm happy enough to take it. Now, I can't... You know what? I'm going to be a bit risky and leave this guy here. This guy should be out of the fight. So I'm only going to be taking one lot and it's going to do a fair chunk of damage. But, yeah, the incoming damage against my armadillo is effectively halved. Okay, we got rid of the shield. A lot more vulnerable. Beautiful. I will definitely call that a win. How did you miss? And uh, we'll just go on Overwatch here. And I guess we call that a turn. I was really hoping my sniper would get an overwatch shot there. So yeah, we're not looking super amazing with the armadillo there. And I don't have a way to heal it without a uh, technician. But there's not much I can do. That technician is running away because his arm's taken out. I expect this heavy to also run away because his arm is taken out. Yeah, you'll take an overwatch shot there. Yeah, beautiful. Thank you. So that leaves this heavy and uh, this heavy and this assault. So it's a lot more controllable. But this is basically how you need to fight the pure when you first come across them because they're so heavily armored. Play as defensively as you can. Take them out just one at a time. Disable an arm. Let them run away. It's not like um, Pan the Pandoran fights. You maybe want to be like a little more aggressive. Um, I mean, you would still you still let people run away, still let Pandorans run off. But there's also okay now also doesn't have a weapon. There's also some value to killing them and trying to get enemies to panic. Still a valid strategy against the pure. But. Because they're just so hard to hurt. Your main focus should instead be. Your main focus should instead be just trying to take out arms and get as many of them to flee as you can. Yes. Let's have a look. That was 
But now that it's a little more manageable, I'll take a little bit of time and actually try to pick some off to reduce the uh, will of the ones who remain. But yeah, you can see they got like 45 armor or something. Like they're functionally invincible. I uh, must have taken out one of his legs because he can't run very far. That's fine. That's trivial damage. Ah, uh, demolished a tree pretty well. Ah, did almost as much damage to the one he wasn't targeting. Okay, nope, don't need to pay attention to you. We're going to focus down this guy instead. You can have a go at this guy. Okay, so they're all panicked. Wonderful. So now I can be very aggressive in moving up. Oh, will points back to seven. So they're all panicked. None of them are going to attack. So I can like kind of Leroy Jenkins at the moment, spend the whole turn moving for the heavy so that he has a really good shot next turn or the best possible chance at a shot next turn. You know, these positions would otherwise be our... Uh, like certain death for all of these units. Out of ammo. Okay, so I guess we just retreat the armadillo then. Yep, get out of there. You've uh, served nobly and well. Who is it they it can see? That guy, okay. Not what I would have uh would have opted for. Try and be a little more focused with the overwatch on this one. So we'll get either of these two, cut a little shorter. Yep, that's a turn. Yep, so they're just gonna recover. This guy. Oh, it didn't actually make it off screen. Okay. Torso disabled. Works for me. I'm here. Now, I would normally try to save the kills for my own troops. I mean, even if I get one of these guys, I don't know which. But also at this point, at this point, we also just have to kind of consider that a kill's a kill. On my way. Target confirmation. Okay, arm taken out, dazed, almost dead. These are all good things in my books. You're out of ammo, that's the problem. I'm going to run here, throw a grenade. Hopefully I can throw it far enough. Yep. How did that not kill him? What's he on, like one? Yeah, literally one out of 140. The 
problem is he's got a heavy weapon. He's right next to this dude, point blank range. He is highly likely to kill my guy in this next turn. And yeah, so he's highly likely to kill my heavy here and it doesn't look like there's anything I can do about it. Other than try to kill him and I'm not going to be able to. So I was pretty reckless with this guy. So I kind of just have to hope for the best. And um, as sad as that is, that was basically the best possible outcome. He killed a uh, Sanhedrin trooper, not mine. This guy's going to run off. That's fine. You're going to come here and just uh, bonk this guy like we did with the other one. And that should be the mission. Also means if I do get a unit, it's pro the arguably more useful sniper. So I'm not going to complain about that. We did get a level up. The armadillo is very damaged. So we probably uh, go back to base and try to repair it. And uh, that'll be about it for this video. Because again, we're about uh, 32 minutes. Kind of a decent length. Like, you know, you do, you do one mission, that's a video. I don't mind it. Hopefully you guys don't mind it. Let me know what you think. I know a lot of videos I see in uh, this genre of game tend to be like an hour, an hour and a half. Got a fair bit of loot. Uh, got one of these uh, laser rifles. Got uh, another Deceptor. Some more ammo. Not going to complain. Yes! We got the uh, Sniper. Extra strength and carry weight. Not the most helpful thing on the Sniper. Shadow Step. That is the Synedrian ability. Don't activate enemy Overwatch. This is also a... Um, Automatic sniper thing. Yes, we want them to join us. And we get more. So advanced nanotechnology will negate, I believe, it negates the first tick of like poison or fire damage. It's not the most useful thing in the world, to be honest, because, you know, you take like 20 fire damage, what's 19? Or, you know, like 60 poison damage, what's 59? It's only really helpful. The only time you really notice it is on will, and only if it's a low, like, 5 you know, poison weapon, poison grenade, not very helpful. Aspeter can be really good for capturing um, Pandorans, but it's not something I'll ever build. So none of these amaze me, but our advanced nanotechnology opens up some other useful things. Are you motivated by any kind of investment in our political and philosophical views, or are you just doing your job? Of course, I'm going to say, even though, like me as a person, I do not philosophically agree with Sinedrin. I think they're damn fools, personally. We're going to say we agree. Get the uh, bonus diplomacy. So you are a potential ally. Not merely fighting the Pandorans, but attempting to realize a specific vision of the future. I will admit that I had hoped for this. As a token of our appreciation, let me share some valuable data with you. So this is their uh, one of their AIs. I don't know why this... Um, I mean, I understand, because I've said I support New Jericho. The other two factions are going to like me a little bit less. But this is meant should be a private communication. How did they find out? Anyway, as I said, that's going to be the end of this video. We're about 35 minutes. So uh, we're going to wrap this up here. As always, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. You stay brilliant. I'm going to catch you real soon. Okay, just a super quick postscript. I'm actually going to stop playing for um, a moment now because I'm about to go out and meet a mate. So I just, uh, what I've done is moved my two Manticores from that mission back to base just so I don't forget to do that when I come back to the game. But in the interim, what happened is I completed the AI uh, research that I was doing and then immediately finished the grenade launcher research as well because of the boost to research that that gave me. So I'm going to build a couple of grenade launchers and we're going to take a look at the research queue. I just wanted to let you guys know what happened because it's going to be a little disjointed in the next um, video otherwise. Um, so what we're going to move forward with is what we're going to pump up to the top. 
I think are laser weapons. Infiltrator class is not going to stay at the top of the list, but anytime you can unlock a new class, you should pretty much prioritize that. It's always important and always very helpful. Um, this Myrmidon autopsy is also going to unlock um, a very useful um, piece of equipment for my Air Force, uh, flares that throws off uh, heat-guided weapons. So I think I want that to look like this. And then... I think I'm still reasonably happy with all of this. I wish the bionic technology didn't take so long, but it does. So what am I going to do? Project Glory, not a super priority, but I would rather get into it sooner rather than like significantly later. The good thing about um, unlocking bionic technology is the cyber labs also add to research. So that'll help speed some of this up. Um, I also got some uh, research to reverse engineer these things, but that's all included in laser weapons. So yep, that's what's going on for now, guys. That's all for this little postscript. As always, stay brilliant. I'll catch you real soon.